Hello everyone, my name is Fizum Tlaun. Today I will show you how to extract and how to do bias correction of data which is obtained from global climate model or from regional climate model. So, in order to extract and do the bias correction of data which is obtained from global climate model or from regional climate model, first we need to do two things. The first thing we need to download the data or we need to obtain the data from global climate model or from regional climate model so for this process I have already prepared a video how to obtain uh, climatic data which is precipitation and temperature from global climate model and uh, from regional climate model so you can refer that video in order to know how to download the data then the next thing we need to do in order to extract and uh, do the bias correction we need to download in the install the software so this is the software which is cmh yd this is the software so you need to download the file and uh, install the software in your computer so after doing these two things you can extract your data and do the bias correction so first let me show you how to prepare the data so i'm going to use the example data from the software so here you have two data this is the data from from the model either from global climate model or from regional climate model and then you have also the observed data this is from gauge stations so here we have precipitation and temperature first let me show you for the precipitation so in the precipitation folder we have around five files so if you open the last file you will see the name of or the id of the stations the name of the stations latitude longitude elevation so we call this file location file so you have the longitude latitude and elevation of each stations this is station one this is station four so you need to provide the latitude longitude and elevation for each station then this is this is the value of precipitation for station one the data range starts from 2000 0101 so this is the data for station one this is the data for station two so we have four stations and the, this is the location for file for for the four stations so you need to prepare your observed data in this way and uh, this is the observed data the same thing here for precipitation you have data for each station and then you have also location file location file so this is the observed data and then you can download or you can obtain this simulated data or predicted data from either from global climate model or from regional climatic model so this is the first thing we need to prepare our data then open your software open your software which is cmh yd software then when you see the software you have two parts this is observed climate input here you have climate model so in observed climate inputs the first thing we need to do is we need to select the variable so we have precipitation and temperature if you want to do for precipitation select PCP when you select the PCP here this thing will be activated select location file then click on selection select location file and then go back and open observed folder and the open precipitation folder then only select the location file the location file and click open and then wait for some minutes so when you bring the location file this method will be activated so this acti active one is these are the methods for doing the bias correction for precipitation but this inactive one is for temperature if you select temperature here 
this inactive one will be activated but here we have selected the precipitation that's why all these methods are activated so you can select one of the methods in order to do the bias correction for me let me go for the simple one which is the linear scaling or multiplicative meter in order to do the bias correction so check on linear scaling then after doing that come here in climate model and select folder click on select folder then go back and then if you see here we have two formats NetCDF format and this format now we are working with NetCDF format or input so here you have to go for this one NetCDF format open we are doing the bias correction and extraction for precipitation select the precipitation folder don't open the precipitation folder simply select the precipitation folder and then click select folder and then wait for some minutes so come here select future scenario or experiment and select the same file rcp 4.5 then wait some for uh, wait for some minutes okay now it is over so here we have two files or we have two data which is historical data which ranges from 1996 to, to, to 2005 this is the historical data we have also predicted data or future data which ranges from 2091 to 2100 this is the future data this is the historical data so this precipitation is predicted for the historical one and also for the future one so we are now we are going to extract and do the bias correction so the next thing we need to do is come here and I click on select folder select folder you can select any folder or you can let me create folder let me select this folder and select folder then the next thing come here in process and I check the files check the files now we are checking the files here we are going to see whether there is overlapping data for example here in observed we have our data range from 2000 to 2010 we have 10 years data but here for the historical for the historical one our data range from 1996 to 2005 so from 2000 to 2005 is the overlapping period for the historical one and the for the predicted one and for the observ observed one so when you check the file here you will see gauge period evaluation period overlap period so our overlap period is from from January 2000 to December 2005 this is the overlap period so in order to do the extraction and the bias correction we need to have overlap period so we have five years overlap period this is not enough but it is this is not enough but for this video I'm going to use it so after checking the file come here and uh, check use only overlapping time period to calculate the correction parameters after selecting or checking this one click on start processing now we are doing the extraction as well as the bias correction at the same time
so let me minimize this one and then we have new folder here open PCP so here we have observed this is observer for overlap period go back and open this folder this is linear scaling this is the method of bias correction so we have data for historical and text format you can open it this is the historical overlap which is starts from 2000 go back parameters these are the parameters which are used in order to correct the bias these are the parameters and you can also use these parameters in order to evaluate the model okay here you have this is the future data the predicted data but this one is the corrected one this is the corrected one so there is no bias on this data this is already corrected so you can use this data it is not recommendable to use any predicted data without doing the bias correction so these are the these are the data which are corrected from bias using linear scaling so this is the parameters this is the historical overlap this is the original historical so you can do the bias correction by following the same procedure in order to repeat the procedure first download the, the data or obtain the data from either from global climate model or from regional climate model and then download the file of the software and then install the software then open the software and uh, import the observed data import the simulated or predicted data then do the extraction and the bias correction so you can use any of bias correction methods there are different methods in order to do the bias correction you can do literature review about the difference between different methods so thank you for listening if you like this video please subscribe my channel bye sorry i came back again so when you open this folder here you have row this is the originally predicted data without bias correction you have the historical one we have the overlap historical and you have the the model okay this is after bias correction using linear scaling so if you open this one this is bias corrected historical data which starts from 1991 and uh, this one is overlap which starts from 2005 if you open this one uh, sorry from 2000 so this is it is bias corrected for example let me show you the difference for example let me open the row open the historical overlap open this one so both starts from 2000 but if you see the value the value is not the same because because one of them is corrected for example this one is the corrected but this one is not corrected so this is after correction this is before correction this is for overlap historical for this one for the predicted one for the future open it okay this is for row open linear and 
open the predictor for future and if you see it it starts from 2091 2091 this is before the bias correction this is after bias correction so when you download any climatic data from any model or if you obtain any data from any model before using it for something you need to correct the bias okay you need to correct the bias so you can do the correction the bias correction using different methods but you can also use different softwares so this is the way to do the bias correction thank you again bye